Welcome to another Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. My name is Martin. I uh, saw some fun design on the Reddit forum this morning. It uh, was a space plane modeled after a real uh, real design for a single stage to orbit SSTO, is that right? Uh, spacecraft uh, done in the real world. It's also designed with uh, those uh, engines. <laughs> The really efficient ones that I'm forgetting the name of. So uh, I'm I really like that design. It might have inspired me a little bit. Uh, I'll maybe include a picture of it here just to, and uh, you can have a look. And then uh, and then what we'll do is uh, I'm gonna spend a little time designing and maybe a little bit of testing, and then I'll bring you in. This is my kind of standard space plane front end design. Uh, just before I start doing the rest of it, um, hopefully it also allows a fail safe if if you've got a little bit of altitude i've i've actually saved the kerbals uh shortly after even a runway takeoff uh, when things go horribly awry and the back end starts exploding or tearing itself apart if you can hit the this brake fast enough and get the parachutes out you can sometimes save them from a fiery doom all right i'm going to continue building okay so here it is the stash lawn uh named after the sky lawn and I'm just going to give it a flight here and give it a test, see how it goes. So that was an interesting first attempt. Uh, we're definitely suborbital. It's a very minimal ship. Uh, I went with more lift than than the uh, Skylon design. That uh, what's the user's name? DRX2 on Reddit came up with. Um, one of the things is that with space planes, it's nice to be able to use air breathing engines down down low um, because they're way, way, way more efficient through the atmosphere. So the idea is to get your ship up as high and as fast as possible before cutting in your your uh, rocket engines of various kinds. Um, I went with four engines for most power. I should just be uh, keeping an eye here. I do want to attempt to get into orbit, although I don't think I have enough fuel left. Um, thinking that maybe the weight of this plane is a little high, but uh, let's see what happens on this last tank. So yeah, we gotta get up to 2200 meters per second. Not gonna make it, but pretty good first attempt. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll... With the fuel I have left, I could land on land there too. I may give that a try. Oh, and really, we were uh, somewhere somewhere up ahead. Oh yeah, there. There's Jeb, 76 kilometers away. And accelerating away because he's at orbital speed and we are not. Despite almost being at similar altitudes. A beautiful view from up here. That's that eastern continent. I don't know what they're called. I don't know if they have names. Um, yeah, so the idea was is to yeah use these and get up get up to about fourteen thousand meters. I think is when I then kick in the arrow spike and uh, five tanks for it. Not enough in this particular case. Uh, I think next time I'll go for a slightly more vertical profile as well, uh, launch profile, because when this starts firing, you're still fairly well in the atmosphere, still somewhere around in the lighter blue areas, so it's not as efficient cutting through the air. But you're able to use the lift of the wings and the efficiency of these engines to get up that high, so that's pretty good. The other thing I noticed is that these tanks are half full, uh, so what I might do is use one of the, there's a structural version of this tank that's much lighter, doesn't hold any fuel. So if I can use a full tank in the in the the towards the inner side and then a, an empty one, and if they can both run off that full tank, just judging by the amount of fuel I have, I should be able to get to the same height, possibly even be, be going a little bit faster because the ship's a little bit lighter. And then I'll kick in the arrow spike, and again, the ship will be much lighter. There should be almost no jet fuel left and then nothing but rocket fuel and I know they're the same fuels at the moment but it all shut up now and uh, do a bit of a fast forward until I get back down to somewhere where I can get close to landing this thing Thing is a slow turner and uh, back heavy <laughs> as you can see it really wants to tilt up I've got it full-on pitched down as much as the SAS will let me so um, if I turn it off I don't know if it'll pitch forward let's see nope <laughs> so we are we have a decision to make <laughs> do we uh, stick with this landing or bail out and parachute back. I don't know if adding a little bit of power will help keep the attitude. It seems to be getting worse. Maybe if it stalls it'll pitch forward a little bit. Find the stalling mechanics in in Kerbal Space Program here aren't great. Uh, as you may have seen videos, people can really make gliders that glide just incredible distances, unrealistic distances. So I think at some point they've planned to, to have a go over the atmospheric physics. Uh, lots of us are looking forward to re-entry heat, for sure. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun, having to carry up a heat, a heat shield of some kind, or the, the capsules will need to be some sort of heat resistance and uh, not die on re-entry. I already try to make my re-entry profiles somewhat livable. You don't want to go up over you know, 8 or 9 G's or so. Still got time to bail out if we want. I hate to lose this surely multi-million dollar experimental space plane, but this is Bill Kerman in the pilot seat. We can't kill him again. And uh, this is just not... What if I give it some serious throttle? Nope, that's bad. 
That's officially bad. <laughs> Can we recover from this? I don't know. Uh oh. We're gonna bail out. Now's gonna be the time to do it. We just did a loop anyway. That's something. I think we're gonna bail out. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have hit them so early. Goodbye, Valiant Space Plane. Served us well, and hopefully it doesn't land on some community. I cannot wait for the IVA stuff coming in point one seven. I can't wait to fly space planes and even spaceships from the from the cockpit. That's going to be fantastic. Um, I'm sure this flight would have looked pretty amusing from in there. The loop there near the end, especially in the bailout. All right, so the plane has some stability issues. I'm going to try to move the wings around a little bit, um, give it a little bit more control, and uh, the engines forward a little bit, and we'll uh, give this another try in, uh, in a minute. That's a pretty good escape mechanism, eh? I'm pretty proud of it. This is not a pretty plane, uh, <laughs> but moving the engines forward, this is now a structural fuel tank, not a real fuel tank, so it should weigh a lot less. What is going on with those? These don't, these don't work. Again, you know, what can go wrong? Structural failure. Wow. Uh, I need more struts, I think. Couple more struts. Still looks a little iffy. Uh, gotta keep it on the runway, maybe a little better. Held it there with brakes till the engines spool up fully. Don't know really. If... Whoa. Kept it on the runway though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Bad. Not good. Are they still somewhere around? <laughs> Flying around, maybe? Yes. Some debris. Okay. Um, well, that was fun. I may scrap this and start over. Uh, if this is the end of the episode, <laughs> thank you for watching.